it'll be nice to finally see uh, see it. Uh, the Good morning, and, and uh, thank, thank you all for attending today. Like I appreciate the, the opportunity like to reintroduce. And, uh, the and Illinois Energy uh, Infrastructure Modernization Act to you, Illinois, a bill that we first we introduced in February. Uh, when we originally and, uh, introduced the bill uh, to you, it was a strong concept Illinois. with important elements, grid modernization, regulatory reform, and jobs. Today, we reintroduce to you a piece of policy legislation that incorporates these elements and adds a broad range of consumer protections substantial and industry-leading consumer benefits, and economic development elements designed for today's economy. As Representative McCarthy has outlined, the bill has changed in the last three months. With more than 20 major revisions, it has evolved into important policy legislation, delivering benefits to Illinois electric consumers and laying the foundation for a stronger economic future for Illinois. When we introduce the concept, we made a visible and public commitment to dialogue. We took that commitment seriously, and we have engaged in dialogue with many, many stakeholders. We listened, we heard, and we responded, and this amendment is a result of that process. We heard stakeholders when they raised concerns that the bill wasn't green enough. In response, there's now a process for adding more energy efficiency to Illinois' already significant portfolio. There's also a provision that facilitates distributed solar generation at the residential customer level. We heard stakeholders when they raised concerns that the bill created automatic rate increases. In response, the date upon which the ICC sets a rate moved from the beginning of the annual process, the rate case process, to the end of the ICC review process. No rate will be set until after a full eight-and-a-half-month ICC review and stakeholder challenge process has been completed. We heard stakeholders when they raised concerns that there wasn't enough oversight of utilities. In response, we added the bills to the bill's existing annual ICC review two legislative checkpoints, one in 2014, and a rate test is applied at that point, and a complete sunset and reapplication to the General Assembly in 2017. At each of these points, utilities must come back to the General Assembly, establish that they have met the requirements under this act, and deliver to customers. Also in response to this concern, a cap on spending was added. We heard stakeholders when they raised concerns about profit levels. In response, profit levels were lowered, and a collar was added that presents over-earning and returns excess profits to consumers. We heard stakeholders when they raised concerns about the uncertainty of consumer benefits in the original legislation. In response, the legislation incorporates performance standards around reliability and customer service and imposes financial penalties for failing to achieve those goals. Also in response, we added rebate pricing opportunities for customers once they receive their smart meters. Over the last several months, we have had dialogue with a variety of stakeholders and we have worked hard to reshape this legislation. We listened, we heard, and we responded. The strong concept that was introduced in February has evolved into important policy legislation that delivers better electric service and options for lowering bills to our customers and a platform for future economic development to Illinois. And I want to thank the sponsors of this bill. I want to thank all those who engaged in the negotiations. Uh, this has been a, a, a very involved and complicated issue. It's taken a lot of people a lot of time. We think it's a good bill, and we appreciate all the, all the involvement. Thank you.